Hi guys and welcome back to the channel to this rather short unboxing video. This is uh, an unexpected buy, let's put it like that, or an impulsive buy rather, should I say. And uh, as you guessed it by the title, it's a Steinhardt. And this is an interesting topic, as I said, with Christoph. Actually, Christoph doesn't know that I bought this watch. But um, I said that I wouldn't buy another Steinhardt watch again uh, unless they would release a very uh, individual type of look. But anyways, I will get to explaining why I bought this and um, what went through my head uh, a little bit later. But let's, let's do this unboxing first. Oh, very nice so as you can see it's not a normal Steinhardt watch it's uh, I bought it from Norman and uh, it actually is a Norman exclusive piece which is very cool and I am very excited about it let's put this away so here we go Oh, nice little message there. That's very cool. Then an instruction booklet, I guess, from Steinhardt. Oh, and you get a stamp. That's good. So the classic Steinhardt box. I notice already. Obviously, I do already own a Steinach watch so it's exactly the same kind of synthetic leather box but let's get to the watch there she is all wrapped up very nice oh my god this looks so good obviously this is completely wrapped up still but as you can see I went for the Vintage 39 Ocean Red and this is a homage to a 1960s Rolex Sea Dweller so this is a very very cool looking watch So as I got overly excited for this video and I didn't really plan it I just stopped filming and forgot to make an outro but anyways, here's some footage of my Steinhardt and as you can see, I've put it on an Omega NATO strap. So, as I work for Omega at the moment, I this whole idea of getting a vintage type looking diver came to my head because I also watched Spectre, the James Bond film, and, and I was like, that actually really looks quite nice to have an old school diver on a Bond NATO and that's why I actually bought the watch. So I bought the watch to put it on a NATO strap and I think it really looks good especially out in the sun as you can see and I'm, I'm not really a NATO type person but I think it's a thing of getting used to it and once you get used to it it's actually such a good looking style it doesn't go with everything but considering the kind of daily casual wear it's actually something nice to wear what i like about the watch as i said is the vintage type look the fotina come in combination with that red inscription on the dial i think it looks just really cool and old school plus you have a 300 meter water resistant watch you have an automatic movement it's a solita um, so it's quite a reliable watch and um, it's nothing uh, extraordinary but you know you can wear it you don't have to worry about it it's a solid watch it's on my first Steinhardt and all in all it's just a trustworthy piece of kit and that's what I enjoy with Steinhardt in general that's why I bought it so that guys was it from me today with a very kind of impromptu video about 
uh, my Steinhardt, but do let me know if you want to see more about this watch, a more in-depth review of it, and uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Ciao.